welcome back to my channel. If you want to join my family, just click subscribe. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll be back. I'm good. So today I'm going to be making... Hold on. Whatever is in this box. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. And I'm so excited about it because it's food. <laughs> so if this is your first time ever hearing about HelloFresh, we're not gonna judge you. We're not gonna judge you for not knowing because you should know. HelloFresh is known for shipping fresh meals to your door and they stay with discount codes. You gotta really be in the loop because there's always a discount code somewhere. Right now, I know y'all are probably like, okay, so what is the discount code? We know you got one, sure I do. HelloFresh ain't just looking out for me. They also looking out for y'all. If you click the link below, it's gonna take you to the website and all you have to do is put in QTSJZ 80 and that's gonna give you $80 off your first purchase. That's not bad. If you wanna try it out, make sure to click the link below and I mean, you don't have to spend all of your money. You can use the discount code if you're just even curious about it. Let's see what is in this box. The hot honey chicken. I have the Tuscan sausage and pepper spaghetti and I have the meatloaf la mom, la mom. I don't know. Oh, hmm. Any, many. I'm actually gonna go for the hot honey chicken because it has hot on there. Y'all know I'm about to go for anything that got some spice. Here are the three meals. Ooh, they really keep this fresh. Like this is still ice cold. I'm done emptying this box. This is meatloaf, spaghetti, hot chicken. So I'm gonna put these two away and let's go ahead and get started. All right, broccoli, potatoes. Some panko breadcrumbs, hot honey. Ooh, this is what I'm excited about. Some sour cream and some sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. So this is what the final result should look like and it seems pretty easy to me. So I made sure to wash my potatoes really well, scrub them a little bit, and then I dried them off with a paper towel. So now we're going to cut these potatoes. Now take a baking sheet and put the potatoes on there. Go ahead and add some olive oil on top. I actually don't have any, so I will be using butter. <laughs> Season with salt and pepper, and you also need to add the barbecue seasoning. Just a little, just a little bit, just a tad. Ooh, I've never put barbecue seasoning on uh, potatoes like this. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Take it around a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven and then I'm gonna get started on the chicken. So now I'm going to make the crust for the chicken. First you'll need some butter. We all love us some good old butter, don't we? You know what, let's add a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Warm it up. Now you just have to add in a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit. The rest of your barbecue seasoning. So we're gonna use the rest of this. Panko crumbs. Stir it all together. Mmm, smells good. Whew, my stomach is growling. You know when you're smelling food and your, your mind starts to really like take over? My mind, my body, my soul is saying, Trinity, you need to eat. Mmm. 
One thing I didn't do is pack the chicken dry. So let me go ahead and do that. Season both sides with salt and pepper. Now one thing that's a little bit different is this step where it says to put sour cream on the chicken and then add the crust. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which is a little, it's a little different to me. I've never done this before, so I'm curious to know, like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> you gotta be open-minded to this stuff, y'all. Trust the process. And I mean, if it tastes good, and I'm gonna let y'all know, and then we gonna go ahead and uh, incorporate this. All right now. I could use my fingers and I might, but for now I'm just gonna do it like this. So I did something wrong. Um, so the other side is supposed to be coated with sour cream and the panko crust will only be going to the top. So let me flip this over and add the sour cream and then flip it back over and add the rest of the panko crust. Reading is fundamental. I always kind of skipped reading y'all. That was me, I'm sorry. This whole sour cream method, like what? Let me know below if you've been about this life cause this is new to me, All right? Flip it back over. And now we're going to use the rest of this for the top. Now it is time to put this in the oven and just let everything cook and then we're gonna move on to the broccoli. So here's my broccoli. You can cook it. You can kind of do whatever you want with this broccoli. Make sure to add some butter and some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Add some butter and I'm gonna put some saran wrap on top of this, poke some holes in it and put it in the microwave. Some potatoes. Oh, nice. They're drenched up in this butter. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. Here's my chicken. Oh, it smells so good. It's time to plate. My meal is complete. It's a pretty balanced meal. This is what you call trying to get your life together. The summer's right around the corner, girl. Dear Lord, please bless this food and let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Mmm. This hot honey is hot. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! I'm gonna have to find me some hot honey. Hey! I'm happy. Okay, broccoli. Eat your vegetables, kids. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for giving me your time because I know your time is precious. Don't forget to click the link below. Use QTSJZ80 to get $80 off your first meal. Shout out to the J team for being part of my support. I love y'all so, so, so much. If you want to shout out like them, you just got to click subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know below. And that's it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye!